As the sun sets behind this rural home in Lincoln, neighbors like Lee Clay are worried about the man who may be moving there. This person made evil choices and here he is being placed in our environment. And as a father, as a grandfather, it's upsetting. He's Daryl Shazier. In 1994, he pleaded guilty to several charges, including forcible sodomy and child molestation of boys ranging from 13 to 16. He's changed their lives forever. He's currently serving time in a state hospital in Santa Clara, but is now up for release. Well, there is a bus stop at the end of the road and a lot of children walk home. I see them all the time and um, they're, that's a perfect target. Shazier is part of a state program that treats sexually violent predators with mental disorders until they are no longer considered a threat. Then they are reintroduced into society as they complete their prison sentences. If Shazier's release is approved, the state has picked this address located a mile down on Kilaga Springs Road. Why would they put this individual in a, in a motor home or mobile home to sit on 20 acres to stare out his window and do what? They need to make space for him in Santa Clara County. They need to make space for where he offended. We can see very well where he's going to live. Tonight, residents yeah, voice their concerns. Yeah. It's not safe. It's scary. I think people need to belong to their uh, neighborhood watch programs. I think we need then the city council voted unanimously to send a letter in support of the Placer County District Attorney blocking Shazier's placement. They want to make it clear he's not welcome. That scares me. And some even fear for Shazier's safety. By placing an individual into this neighborhood, otherwise sane people might become irrational and, and harm this individual.